Good morning and welcome to Hope for the Family with Evangelist Noya Antonia Eden. God is good all the time. We bless God for keeping us alive to see this day which He has made. We rejoice and be glad in it. Shouts of victory and rejoicing are heard all the time in the tent of the righteous. Today we have come before God, our God who loves us so much, our God who has said that nothing can separate us from His love, not even our sins. God has given all of us salvation in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We are sinners, when God sent His Son to die for us. If we have not received the salvation of Jesus Christ, we make God to be a liar and we are, we are separated from God eternally. We must call before God, repenting of our sins and asking that God should have mercy in us so that we receive the eternal life that God has given to us through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and begin to walk in the light of God's way in this world. God wants to use us. He created us for good purpose. He created us to represent Him in this world. We are His light in this world. We are the salt of this world. How can we be effective if we are far from our calling, if we, have, if we have no relationship with God, if we do not even understand what God wants to use us to do in this world? We are mighty in His hands to put out every struggle of the enemy. Let us come before God. Our God is faithful. He is the Father of all mercy. He is the God of all compassion. He is the God that leads us on the righteous path on which we should walk in. Amen. He said we should come to Him the way we are. He instructs sinners in the way on which they will walk on. Amen. We are all sinners. If any of us say that we have not sinned, then we are, there's no truth in us. We are all liars. We have all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Every day, God floods us with benefits. He forgives all our sins. But we must come to Him and acknowledge that we are sinners, that we need help in the name of Jesus. When we receive help from God, there will be mighty vessels in His hands to do His will in this world. God wants to use us. He created us to give Him pleasure. Amen. He created us for good purpose. He created us to bless the world that we are living in. He created us to created us to be mighty to go out to restore souls, to lift up His children from the pit of darkness, to bring them into His light, into His kingdom. Amen. He created us to pray for those that are sick so that they will receive healing. Amen. We are mighty in the hands of God. We are there to encourage one another. Amen. We are there to go out in this world, to go out, to, to take this gospel of salvation to the nations, to tell people what God has done for us in the name of Jesus. We are we in our relationship with God. Are we doing the will of God? Can we boldly come before God every day to call Him our Father? Do we have unbelief in us that we doubt God, that the message of salvation means nothing to us? That the message about our glorious inheritance in God's kingdom means nothing to us. The message that in this world the Lord is our portion means nothing to us. Are we too busy? Just doing things as safe, there's no consequence for our actions. The wrath of God is against the wicked. Today we are alive, the living has hope. Today we can begin to write a new story about our lives, to begin to do things that in God's way. Amen. As we come before God today, we bow down our heads to honor God, to bless Him, to tell Him that He's God and there's no other God as Him, that in the assemblies of the God is worthy, the God is worthy to be praised. That we have come to Him today with hearts that feel with thanksgiving that know, know what He has done for us. He is our God, He's our Father, He's our helper. We have no other God but Him. We bless God this morning. For keeping us alive to see this day, for giving us the opportunity to repent of our sins, for refreshing us this morning, that we are woken up, energized to run our races today in the name of Jesus. We bless God for all the battles He has fought for us and our families. We bless Him for setting tables before us right in the presence of our enemies, that we can be at peace to enjoy and thus blessing. Every day, without being afraid of what the wicked will do unto us, we are invited to a feast. We we'll feast this day, we will be happy today because it's the will of God for us. We thank God because this morning He has anointed our heads with oil. We bless Him because we know we are like that tree that is planted by the riverside, that we prosper in everything that we do. And God leads us on the path on which we should walk on. But the wicked are not so. They are like the shaft that the wind blows about. Their path will lead unto destruction. 
because we have God that will never fail us. We know that no matter what the wicked will plan against us, that everything will fail in the name of Jesus. Many may be their plans, but the counsel of God will always prevail concerning us and our families in the name of Jesus. Unto this God that we have come today, our heads are lifted up before our God today. We are lifted up our gates so that the ancient of days are coming to join with us to help us in the name of Jesus. Father, you are God. We bless you. We thank you. We thank you for everything you have done for us. We bless for the opportunities we have. We thank you for this new day. We bless you for our children, God. We bless you for our communities. We thank you, God, for everything. We thank you, you are our God. Glory, hallelujah. Thank you for all the battles you have fought for us. All the battles you have won, won on our behalf. Thank you for teaching us to fight, to put out every struggle of the wicked. Thank you, Jehovah God. We bless your holy name. That our God. Thank you, God, in the name of Jesus. Our Lord God Almighty, as we have come before you this morning, we also acknowledge that we are sinners, that we are falling short of your glory in so many ways. We plead the blood of Jesus, the precious blood of Jesus. Father, thank you for forgiving us of all our sins. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. As you are forgiving us, we pray that you help us to forgive as many that have sinned against us. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Our Lord God Almighty, we invite the Holy Spirit to come in this morning to help us. As we study your word, Spirit of the living God, fill us with wisdom today. Fill us with the revelation of God's way. That other first, Lord God, we begin to walk in the light of God's way for each one of us in the name of Jesus. Spirit of the living God, encourage us today in the name of Jesus. Give us the strength we need to run, the strength we need to serve God, to serve our communities, and to continue to do good things in the name of Jesus. Spirit of the living God, give us a word that will bring healing to as many that are sick today in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray this day, Spirit of the living God, for as many that are mourning today, that they will be comforted in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray for those that have gone out to, to preach this gospel, that the kingdom of darkness will not prevail against them in the name of Jesus. We pray that wherever they are, that signs, wonders, and miraculous days we go with them in the name of Jesus. Spirit of the living God, we dedicate our families to you today. We lift up our children to you in the name of Jesus. That the will of God concerning each of them will be as it will, as uh, on earth as it is in heaven in the name of Jesus. Spirit of the living God, this day we pray that you help us. Pray for us. We do not know how to pray or what we ought to pray about. Pray for us. Help us in the name of Jesus. We surrender to you. Use us today in the name of Jesus. That we be channels of God's peace wherever we go today in the name of Jesus. 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 Who can lift up their hands against us? Who can lift up their hands against us? When we have our God in the name of Jesus. We pull down every plan of the wicked today. In the name of Jesus. They fall into the pit. They are dug for us. In the name of Jesus. They are overtaken by their own evil devices. In the name of Jesus. This snare is broken. Our souls have escaped. We bless you, our God, who did not give us over as prey unto the feet of the wicked. Receive the praise today in the name of Jesus. Unto you shall the gathering of your children be in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Shall of victory and rejoicing will be heard in our homes in the name of Jesus. We are blessed because we are the children of. God, our God encompasses us around with His holy presence. In the name of Jesus, wherever we go, the light of God will shine through us to the world today. In the name of Jesus, we will hope to send the hope of Shenda Rabbi He Santa. Remember, we say the help of Shenda Rabbi Hobo. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Father Lord, each of us will walk along God. In the name of He will send the our Rabbi He will hope Shenda in our giftings. In the name of Jesus, to bless the world around us. In the mighty name of Jesus, to reveal. Give you all of a cup of shindaraba to your children see in darkness in the name of Jesus. Father, you are our God. We bless you this day. Receive the praise. You are our Father. 
We thank you for everything you have done for us. In the name of Jesus. Father, we bless you. We thank you, God. In Jesus' mighty and precious name, we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. God is good all the time. If God has been good to you, testify by the goodness of God to the world around you. Faith comes by hearing and taste by hearing the word of God. You are a child of God. You are a child of God. Inside of you is the Spirit of God. You are mighty in the hands of God to pull down every stronghold of the wicked. Amen. Do not be afraid of what men may do unto you. Do not be afraid when the wicked triumph in their evil days. For the word of God says to the wicked, evil is like a king. When they do their evil things, it's, it's like they're playing a game. Can you imagine that? They do not understand. They cannot de detect their own evil. They don't have that consciousness to think about the things they are doing. That this is evil. Let me change. Amen. But we are the children of God. We are holding on to the word of God. That the, the wicked lie falling forever in the name of Jesus. Never, They will never be able to stand up, to, to lift up their hands against the children of God in the name of Jesus. We are standing on the foundation God has laid for us. We triumph in every good works because we are the children of God. Today we pull down every plan of the wicked. We confuse them. At night when we are sleeping, they were gathered with the, with the word of their mouths. They created evil atmosphere around the world. But today we are awake. We are overturning all the evil they did in the night in the name of Jesus. For God has given us the power to use our mouths to create the atmosphere. The situations we want for our God makes situations beautiful. In the name of Jesus, we are overturning every work of darkness. Everything that they did in the night, contrary to the will of God concerning us and our families and nations. We overturn them this day in the name of Jesus. We are standing on the promises of our God today. We say it's well with our souls. That we prosper in every good thing. That our God will help us today. In the name of Jesus, that the wicked is confused, running around in confusion. They do not know what has come against them, but it's the Spirit of God. They are being blown about, ready to be burnt because of their evil deeds. In the name of Jesus, Father, you are God. You are God. You hear the cry of your children. You say we should call on you in a time of trouble. You will answer us. You will never fail us. You have heard us. In the name of Jesus, our children are in your, are in your hands, son of God. Father, Lord, it will be as you said it will be. In the name of Jesus, we step upon the heads of the wicked ones this day. In the mighty name of Jesus, God, you prevail. You are our God. We bless you. We thank you, God. In Jesus' mighty name, we are worship. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. God is good all the time. All the time. Hallelujah. Amen. Today I want to read a few verses of Psalm 37. Amen. I will say the first six verses. Then we go on to the study of First John chapter 5. We'll finish that this month. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Psalm 37. Do not fright because of evil men. Or be envious of those who do wrong. For like the grass, they will soon wither. Like green grass, they will soon die away. Trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and enjoy safe pasture. Delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way to the Lord. Trust in him. And if you do this, it will make your righteousness shine like the dawn, the justice of your cause like the new day sun. Amen. Be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him. Do not fright when men succeed in their ways, when they carry out their wicked schemes. Refrain from anger and turn from wrath. Do not fright, it leads only to evil. For evil men will be cut off. But those who hope in the Lord will inherit the land. Glory, hallelujah, amen. Let our hope give us rejoicing. We hope in the Lord that we never fail us. We will inherit the land, amen. The Lord is our portion in the land of the living. The Lord is our glorious, inherit in, in, our glorious inheritance, amen, in his kingdom. 
He has promised us eternal life. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen. We are not afraid of what the wicked will do to us. Today we are being you know, reminded again that we should not fret. Do not be afraid. Do not allow fear to make you to begin to do things according to the desire of the flesh. Amen. We make mistakes when we do that. Let us know that we have the Spirit of God in us. When we are faced with the ugliness of life, with challenges, when people are coming against us, when the forces of darkness are pressing against us, let us remember that we have God and the grace of God We are bound for us in every situation. We have to stand firmly on the foundation God has laid for us. We have to wait patiently for God in the name of Jesus. Be prayerful as we wait. Pressing back with prayer is one of the weapons of our spiritual warfare. Pressing, pressing back the forces of darkness and believing that God will deliver us. Our God will deliver us in the name of Jesus. That we should not fret. Because when we fret, it will only lead to anger. Amen. Anger will make us to do things contrary to the will of God. Amen. Our anger does not, will not justify anything. Amen. God himself we have us in the name of Jesus. Amen. That the anger of men is not what God wants to see. Does not justify anything. Amen. Let God fight for us. Let God help us. Let us wait on, on God. Amen. God we have us in the name of Jesus. That Do not fight because of evil men. There are evil men around. Yes, let them be evil. They want to be evil. They enjoy their evil deeds. But we have the spirit of God, the spirit of goodness in us, the spirit of love, the spirit of mercy. Amen. We are more than conquerors because we have the spirit of God that helps us. We should not fret in the name of Jesus. Let them prosper in their evil days. That same evil will kill them in the name of Jesus. If they do not repent, God is giving them enough time to turn from their sins, to receive life, to repent, to stop the evil things they are doing within their families. The evil things they are doing on the job, the evil things they are doing in our communities, the evil things they are doing within the body of Christ. Turn. Repent of your sin. Amen. God is being patient with every one of us. Repent of your sins. Turn to God. Amen. Stop enjoying evil. Stop enjoying your evil deeds. Turn back to God in the name of Jesus. God is that is giving you time to repent of your sin. If you do not repent, that same evil will destroy you. It's the word of God. Any of us that we enjoy evil things to the destruction of our own souls. Any of us is a any of us is a fool. Anyone that we enjoy evil things to the destruction of their own souls will be a fool forever. Amen. May we have wisdom today. May we be attentive to the voice of the Spirit. To repent of our sins and come to God that can teach us how to walk on that righteous path. How to be holy because we must be holy to God, unto God in the name of Jesus. Amen. Today, we want to remind ourselves that like the grass, the wicked will soon wither away. Like green plants, they will soon die away. Why will they die? Because they refuse to accept life. They refuse to accept the testimony of God. That God has given us salvation in Jesus Christ. Through grace. Not through our own effort. God has given us salvation. Amen. They refuse to do good things. Even when they know that the wrath of God is coming against them. They hold on stubbornly, stubbornly to their evil days. Their desire to offend God. To refuse to do that which God wants them to do. They will die according to the will of God for them. According to the, their own will for themselves. They choose death instead of life. Amen. So when God judges, no one can lift up their hands against God, God and say, Father, Lord, we do not know. Why? Why is that black person entering into heaven? Why are you sending me to Hades? Why am I in chains? They shame themselves up in this world. They rejected life. They took Damnation, condemnation. They kill their own souls. Amen. To their own evil days. In the name of Jesus. Fret not, children of God. Hold on to the truth. There is life in the truth. The living word that God has given to us. Let us speed on it. Day, night, morning, anytime. Let us commune with God. 
so that we can continue to do good things in this world in the name of Jesus. We should trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and enjoy safe pasture. When we trust in the, God, in the Lord, we do good things. There's no reason for us to be afraid of anything. Amen. God wants us to dwell in the land to, and to enjoy safe pasture in the name of Jesus. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen. We must delight ourselves in the Lord and He will give us the desires of our hearts. For us to have the desire of our hearts, which we know are according to the desire of the heart of God, because we have the same mindset of Jesus Christ. If we are the children of God, the desires of our hearts will be the same desire that our God has for us in the name of Jesus. So, God will bless us and He will help us when we delight ourselves in the Lord. He will give us the desires of our hearts in the name of Jesus. That we should commit our, our way to the Lord. Trust in Him and He will do this. When we trust in God, God is going to do this for us. He will make our righteousness shine like the dawn. Amen. Our righteousness will shine forth like the dawn, like the early morning. Amen. People will see that we see it. Amen. Because God will show it to the world. We are the light of God in this world. They will see that spirit of God in us. The glory of God that God has given to us. They will see it. God will make our righteousness to shine like the dawn. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen. The justice of our cause like the new day sun is something that man, men will see. When Jesus Christ appeared in this world, the Spirit revealed him to the world. Amen. And if that same Spirit of God is in us, we cannot hide it. And that's why the Bible says no one hides a lamb and puts it under a tree. Or you, you find somewhere to hide it. You must put it on the lampstand where it will shine to the entire world in the name of Jesus. So God is going to make our righteousness, amen. To shine like the dawn and the justice of our cause like the new day sun. Amen. When God's just judgment comes up to the to the world, amen. Everybody will know about it. It will shine. Amen. The righteous will receive the crown of God of glory that God has planned, has promised them, and will enter into God's rest. Amen. In his kingdom. And the wicked will be condemned forever. In the mighty name of Jesus. Why should we be afraid? We have no reason to be afraid of anything. We must be still before the Lord and wait patiently for Him. Amen. When we wait for God, we continue to do good things. In the name of Jesus, Amen. Continue to serve our communities. Continue to trust God, that God who has promised will keep His word. In Jesus' mighty name. That do not fright when men succeed in their ways. When they carry out their wicked schemes, leave them alone. We are separated from the congregation of the wicked. Leave them alone. Do not fret. Leave them alone. They are evil. We bring them down. Leave them alone. They cannot come against God. God has spoken his words concerning us. And it will be as God said it will be. Leave them alone. In the name of Jesus. Continue to pray. Live your life. Enjoy that which God has given to you. The land is safe for you, child of God. You have the spirit of God in the name of Jesus. Do not go to bed being afraid of anything. Do not wake up being afraid of anything. Do not go about being afraid when you have God. Give it to God. God who has given you life. God who will help you in the name of Jesus. Do they be strengthened? Remember who you are, that you have the power of God within you. Do not be afraid of anything in the mighty name of Jesus. Only listen to the voice of the Spirit of God when people bring negative reports to you. Cancel it in the mighty name of Jesus. When people come and try to try your spirit to see if you are afraid of things, they intentionally come to make you to be afraid. Turn back and tell them that, I have the Spirit of God in me. Greater is He that is in me than He that is in the world. I am not afraid of you. In the name of Jesus, I come against that Spirit in you. In the mighty name of Jesus, I am the child of the living God. I stand on the Word of God. I am not afraid of what the Word will do unto me. Because I have God. In the name of Jesus, I prosper in good works. My family prospers. In the name of Jesus, the children of God all over the world. Oh, Rabbi, have a shender. They receive the power of God. They prosper in good works. In the mighty name of Jesus, if I go about spreading peace and goodness, who can come against me in the mighty name of Jesus? The Lord is my defense in the name of Jesus. If we fight my battle, I come against you. You force of darkness, I come against you. You evil one, my God has seen you in the name of Jesus. You have been blown like the shaft that is ready to be burnt in the mighty name of Jesus. See how you let all of our cover shender. You are falling forever in the name of Jesus because God is the glory and the leader of our heads in Jesus' mighty name. That's the 
God we have in the name of Jesus. He is our helper. He has given us everything this day. We have the power to go out to begin to proclaim the goodness of God to the world around us in the name of Jesus because He's our God. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen. We must have love for our brothers and sisters. Without love, none of us truly knows God. Do I have love for my brothers and sisters? Do I have love in me to give to the world today? Father, touch us in the name of Jesus. We are this hatred in us. Let it be taken away. Let your love fill us in the name of Jesus. Your love for our brothers and sisters. Your peace for the world in the name of Jesus. Father, be our God. Be our helper in the name of Jesus. We surrender to you. Have your way in our lives in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen. For the next couple of minutes, we are going to do First John chapter five we read three verses this morning beginning from verse 13 to 15 this morning glory hallelujah amen concluding remarks i write these things to you Be believe and i write these things to you who believe in the name of the son of god so that you may know that you have entered eternal life glory amen this is the confidence we have in approaching god that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And if we know that he hears us, whatever we ask, we know that we have we have what we ask for in the name of Jesus. Have the verse 15 again. And if we know that he hears us, whatever we ask, we know that we have what we ask for. Of in the name of Jesus. If we ask for anything according to the will of God, God hears us. And as children of God, we know that we have received whatever we have asked for in the name of Jesus. Or whatever we've ever asked for, when it's according to the will of God, we will receive it. When we do not doubt God, when we know that God can help us, we come before God because we know God can help us. But when we doubt God, we are unstable in our ways. Amen. We do not expect God to do anything for anyone that, that does not believe in him. Amen. Why do you go to someone you do not believe in? We believe in God. That's how we come to him. We are not wasting our time. We have seen the power of God at work in our lives. Many times God lifted us up from the mud. Many times God helped us when we came against us. Many times he fought our battles. Many times he set tables before us right in the presence of our enemies. When people, have, uh, when people wrote us up that these ones are already gone, nothing good will come out of them. God tore over turned, stirred the waters of evil and brought his goodness to us, his peace, his love. Amen. That we are the people we are today. We are able to do the things we do because we have this God that can never fail us. So we come to him, we pray, we believe that God hears us and God answers our prayers in the name of Jesus. That this thing, this message is written to us. Every word in the Bible is written to us for a reason. That I write these things to you who believe. Not to the unbeliever, but those of us who believe. This message is coming to us. I write these things to you who believe. In the name of the Son of God. So that you may know that you have eternal life. Brothers and sisters, we have eternal life. We have to remind ourselves that we have eternal life in Jesus Christ. In this world, we have abundant life. The boundary life is falling on us in pleasant places. We have a good inheritance in God. We bless our God who has given us everything. We have eternal life in Jesus Christ. We need to remind ourselves. When we know that when we die, we will be God in his kingdom, we have everything. Why wouldn't we serve God? Why wouldn't we listen to the word of God? Why wouldn't we obey God that we should love one another? Why wouldn't we obey God that we should take this message to the nations that are still children of God in the kingdom of darkness that must be brought into God's kingdom in the name of Jesus? Why would you pray for the body of Christ, for our brothers and sisters that are passing through persecution in countries of Rakantanabu, yet the wicked and lifted up a hand, their hands against the children of God today. Let us cry out to God concerning them in the name of Jesus. Father Lord, you have promised, oh Lord God of Oko that those who pass through persecution are blessed. Jehovah God bless your children. Whether they are alive, whether they are dead, in the name of Jesus, your word will not return to you void. In the name of Jesus, it must accomplish that purpose of which you set it forth in the life of the believer. In the mighty name of Jesus, that will be strengthened, O Lord God, to continue to witness for you in this world. Father, the enemy has lifted up their hands against your children. They have been killed. 
Jehovah God, arise to our help. In the name of Jesus. Defend your children, God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father Lord, that they will hold on to the truth. That they have eternal life. That without of fear, they will not turn their back against you. In the mighty name of Jesus. That they will not renounce their own faith in you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Jehovah God, encompass around them with your holy presence. That those who are coming against them will see your power. That they will repent of their sins. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father Lord, nothing can prevail against your word. Oh God Almighty, in the name of Jesus. This word must go forth. In the mighty name of Jesus, with power. With miraculous things, with wonders. In the name of Jesus and signs of Lord God. Amongst the nations. That the world will know that you are truly God. In the name of Jesus. Father, we bless you. Receive the praise this day, our Father. We thank you. For everything you have done for us. In Jesus mighty name. Amen. That this is written to the believer. Amen. That we may have it. To know that we truly have eternal life. In Jesus Christ. Amen. I write these things to you. Who believe in the name of the son of God. So that you may know. That you have eternal life. This is the confidence we have as the children of God. The confidence we have in approaching God because we have eternal life. We are the children of God. We have confidence, not fear. We can approach God. In approaching God, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And if we know that he hears us, whatever we ask, we know that we have we have what we ask of him in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we have confidence in approaching you today. You are our God. We have eternal life. We know that when we ask anything of you, you hear us and you answer us. In the name of Jesus, we receive what we ask because it's according to your way. We delight ourselves in you, Lord God. We place our trust in you. You are our Father. Everything we have comes from you. We bless you this day. We thank you, Father Lord. Glory, hallelujah, amen. Father, we thank you for bringing us to the end of our session this morning with you. Of our fellowship with you. We have been filled with your power. We have been filled with your with, with, with the revelation of your will. Father Lord, as we go out this day, let your spirit go ahead of us to prepare the way. Father, we bless you. Receive the praise today. You are our God. Thank you for answering all our prayers today. Thank you for defending us. Thank you for lifting up our heads. You are the glory and the lift up of our heads. You are our God. We bless you. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you. We love you too. We bless you. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen.